These girls take better care of themselves than you ever have. Can you even lift? Do, do you hear that cop? There's a cop, I guess. No recording today. Don Bedu Non Kiro Moteru. I am going to make a video for every anime this season, and you're watching it. This is Math Feats, Episode 5. Okay, so this show starts out with Hibiki eating and scarfing down like 800,000 gram calories. That's when her friend asks, Have you put on weight again? Which is a straight up offensive question. I don't, I don't care what you say. Don't ask anybody this question if you're not trying to fight, okay? <laughs> that is some fucking inflammatory shit, dude. Those are fighting words, no joke. And so of course, this triggers her! And that's when she goes to weigh herself and she finds out she's like 122 pounds. And then right after that, we go into this awesome pumpy OP that actually gets you pumped up and ready to work out. What I mean is, first they present us with bright colors, almost to invite you to join along. And while the screens caught your eye, you're watching the cutest anime girls trying their best to get ripped and having fun while doing it. All of that swirled in along with the comedically placed Super Soul Bros mixes to make the perfect combination of hard work and reward. The reward being Super Soul, of course. As well as an ultimate perk of becoming your ideal body type, which of course I'm sure everybody could use along with that, a well-deserved confidence boost because you are now literally better than everyone else. Because while everyone else was sitting at home eating chips, you were fucking pumping weights, sprinting, and fucking dominating. Onigai Maso, you're watching Mav Feats episode 5. Hibiki realizes that she's shit at self motivating, just like you, Anon. And so she decides to enroll at a gym caught by some ad promotion. She meets Akemi, the student council president, excellent at school and sports, and her parents are filthy rich too. Akemi is super excited to see another student just like her enrolling for the gym, as she believes that exercise is the key to good health. Imagine that. That's crazy. Not long after that, it becomes clear that Akemi has a fetish for super muscular guys. But, but can you fucking blame her? Hibiki has already decided that this gym is way too hardcore for her, while Akemi is melting. When Hibiki meets a trainer at the gym and falls in love with him. Basically, he's her Prince Charming. After she sees him, she just ends up signing up anyway. When Hibiki's friend says she's about to burst out of her school uniform, Hibiki then decides to slim down her summer body before summer vacation begins. Okay, Hibiki isn't even that fat. Okay, hold up, hold up. Alright, I pulled out the fucking math. Alright. So Hibiki is... 160 centimeters and 55.4 kilograms. That means that she is 5 foot 2 and 122 pounds. She is literally, she literally weighs more than me. And I weigh quite little. I mean, she's like 3, 2 pounds above me. Akemi, on the other hand, is 168 centimeters and 54 kilograms. That's 5 foot 5. And she's 119 pounds. So she's like, I guess, more like my um, weight. But yeah, they're both really close. I had to fucking pull out calculators. Also, um, to Hibiki scarfed down 800k gram calories. I had to fucking look up what k calories were for this shit. 1k cal is equal to 1000 gram calories. 
and I also looked at a real life nutrition facts chart, which provided no help whatsoever. It didn't have K cows or G cows, it just said calories, so I don't fucking know. Hibiki says that she eats six times a day. That's crazy, dude. Basically, Akemi getting fetishly excited about it. She says that Hibiki is full of untapped potential since she eats really unhealthily and is still able to have a relatively great body shape. That being said, Akemi realized that if Hibiki actually ate healthily, they could both become muscle gods. And so Akemi begs Hibiki to end her. Not to end her. Don't end her. Akemi begs Hibiki to join her in her dream of becoming the most macho of them all. Literally, they said that. They said macho, quote for quote. I gotta say, you know, I mean, I think they're both great weight, but I am totally down for fucking motivating you fat, worthless weebs to fucking work out for once in your life. Get up, you fat shit. Me too. I did squats this episode. At the end of the episode, there's like a, there's a segment where it's just like more direct, like, hey, um, we're going to do 10 squats here. Make sure you have perfect posture. We'll, we'll, re we'll remind you how. And you just do, and they like count with you and you do 10 squats. So I was like, I'd have to be absolutely pathetic. I'd have to be like a slime of a human being, like a worthless juvenile of an individual to not actually get up and do the squats that they're challenging me to do right now. They're challenging me to do this. I'm a failure, guys. I wanted to read this manga before it got its anime adaptation, but uh, here I am without having that future created. I haven't fucking read a page yet. And I'm a, I'm a weak loser, failure. I am a flaccid human being. Oh yeah, okay. So because, because Hibiki is 160 centimeters or five foot two and Akemi is five foot five and Hibiki is freaking out about being 120 too, like, are these like accurate like Japanese body standards? Like, is this what the like the normal or average Japanese woman's like body type is and like weight and like is 122 pounds being 5'2 particularly big? Or, you know, not not normal? Because if it is, then what the fuck do we have to say about here in the US? Because that sounds completely normal to me. And like, sounds great, like actually ideal. So I don't know, you know, um, maybe I'll do some research. I won't do any research. I'm so happy that this show exists and that this manga has been a thing for so long. I'm sick and tired of these shows that try to get me into relationships. Bring on the shows that make me lift fucking weights. That's what I'm fucking here for. Admit it. You're, You're fat. fat. So the ED of Dom Beru is super fucking hype. And it's also definitely supposed to be the song that you're jamming to when you're actually lifting in the gym. Even the lyrics point out parts where you're supposed to be working out and points where you're supposed to be resting. But the whole song is literally just them counting sets and like motivating you to work out with them. They're like one, two, three, four, five, six, one, yes! Somebody translate the ED so that I can finally sing along word for word with the song. Muscle, muscle. And at the end, after a few sets, it's finally your chance to relax and take a drink because you worked fucking hard. Math feats forever.
Anyway, that's all I have to say about non kilo moteru. How much can you fucking lift? Thanks for watching, guys. Lose some weight. See you guys later. This has been episode 5 of Math Feats. And see you next time.